So the original video was supposed to be about uh, me putting new shocks on the back of the Z3, as well as replacing the sway bar links. Well, replacing shocks is super easy. It's three, four bolts. Took me about 15 minutes on each side to do. The real tough thing was actually replacing the sway bar links. And actually that's what this video is going to be about. I don't really know how to describe this really well, but you can see the carnage of what we did. The carnage. <laughs> we actually had to remove the spare tire and drop it down. That's what this crate is for. Um, and there's a video on that. Believe it or not, is that not super easy to get that spare tire off? All right, so you can see we took out the spare tire and I'm on the driver's side right now. And we were able to wiggle the sway bar out through here. But what I had to do is I had to disconnect the shock. Sorry, the focus is bad. I had to disconnect the shock and obviously I had to bring down the this whole unit here as far as it would go so I could clear, basically so I could clear the spring. That was really the key. And then I kind of just folded it right out. Okay, so here's been the very interesting part of getting this back onto the sway bar. So what I did is I used some penetrating PB blaster because uh, I ran out of WD-40. And between using socket over it, oops, and this board that we used to put on top of it to slam it into place, um, as I did it, I basically moved it back, basically moved this back and forth so it wobbled, its, it wobbled itself on. The big thing to look for is that once you get about half a centimeter of this down about half a centimeter, from there, you can actually just start to turn it and put it into place. But we kept, like I said, use the PB blaster. So we had some lubricant on both on both sides and then on top of here. That was probably the hardest thing to do. Although as soon as we figured it out, it took about five minutes. Now, when I put it back in, what I did is I took the driver's side of the sway bar and I put it up over this bar here. And I brought it in basically this way into place. And that um, took about 30 seconds once we got that figured out. All right, so we are done. We have managed to put in new sway bar links. We have managed to put in new shock absorbers in here. Um, as I showed you earlier, we actually took the entire sway bar link out from the driver's side. We had to lower down and actually remove the casing for the spare tire. Um, Spare tire is very interesting to get out. That's what all those tools are in there for. I've never had to take it out, so never even really thought too much about having to look at it. But that was a little bit of a pain to get that out, but I was able to get these bolts out. This is a pin with a hinge for it. Took that out, gave a lot, a lot more room to be able to get this around the corner and out. Uh, took some finagling to get it done. Um, I showed earlier how to get that back into place. Probably my biggest concern it's a very minor concern because I'm actually about to take her off for a drive. Is that see the? I mean, I think everything's okay with it. It just seems a little weird that this is at a pivot. You can see this is at an angle. This is about as let's get this nice and straight here. You can see that that comes down, and there's a little bit of a you know spacing pushing more this way. Um, same on the other side too. I don't re remember how that looked before, but I think we're gonna be okay. But I do suggest if you're gonna take these out, do take do it from this part. I took these screws out, uh, I'm sorry, the, the bolt and the nut out. Do it from down here. This is just a nut that comes down, it's 13 millimeter, same as the rest of these. Um, and just basically take it out that way. It's a lot easier. It was really difficult to get this back into place, especially with this being so, you know, be these being new and nice and tight. But. I think we've gotten uh, we've gotten done with that. I'm gonna uh, probably wrap this one up at this point. I think we did a, I don't know. I've never done anything like this before. So it's pretty interesting, but everything's been buttoned up, checked all the screws two or three times, checked all the bolts two or three times, checked all the nuts two or three times. Everything seems to be in place. So we're gonna get her on the road in a little bit and see how she runs. Mm -hmm.